OpenAI just announced a recent capability that let you create a structured based output from your API calls that you make to OpenAI models. That means now you can specify a JSON schema to enforce the model response in the format that you specify in a strict way. And let's see how we can use that directly in an API call or maybe through function calling as well. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. Now here's the time to talk about another very recent update which OpenAI just announced that several days ago since the time recording this video in August 6 that how we can have a structured output from the API calls that we make to OpenAI models. You might say that, yeah, there were some stuff, there were function calling and Pydantic, there were some open source Python libraries that could help us to create a structured output from these models. But this time, this is natively coming from directly OpenAI API, which makes the job much easier for us. And it's certainly worth to create a video and talk about this to make sure you're aware of and you're leveraging that. So what's the benefit here? Well, if you recall last year, OpenAI announced that, hey, now you can have some JSON schema provided through the model and the response is going to be back based on the schema that you provide because later on you don't want to just have these models respond you in a chat format. Let's say for example you have a prompt going to GPT-4 model and based on the response if the answer is A or B or C you want to call other tools, other functions or other piece of code so that answer in a specific schema is very important and like a b c was just a simple binary or, or classification answer but you may have a structure of answers you need to get provided by the model not necessarily parsing the output of the llm by yourself which kind of be a messy cleaning python code and very challenging to make sure that you always have a parsing fixed python code to parse the answer of these models and get the structure that you need so instead they announced this direct structured output api call from openai and you can have that utilized in two ways the first way that you can have is through function calling if you remember function calling is not new it was there when you wanted to call a function based on the output of OpenAI. For example, let's say you have a function called weather data, and that function use Python code and connect to a weather API to get today's weather from the location that you're in. So OpenAI here, or any OpenAI model, need to understand if the user question is relevant to getting weather data, and if the answer is yes, then it will generate an answer that can be used to call weather data with some inputs for that function like the city name, uh, the, the temperature unit, so on and so forth. So here's an, an example. Um, I'm using GPT-40 model and I have some requests coming into the model and based on that request I need to call some functions as a tool. So under tools I define the function and uh, it's going to execute a query and these are some specific values that you're going to grab out of this through calling this function the new change here is when you use a strict equal to true that's the new parameter added you will force the response to be aligned with the format you specify here without you necessarily need to parse or clean any output that's the change and if I click on output JSON, you will see that the output of that function con is exactly relevant to the how I made the request. Function con is one way to use this new structured output announcement. The second way is using response format. This is directly when you call that OpenAI API. You say that, hey, answer this question. Let's say you want to ask GPT-40 model that tell me about this and that or solve this math problem. And you want to have the answer not just a simple task uh, text. You want to have that in a JSON format with the schema that you provide. Here's an example. For example, you are asking the model, uh, hey, you're a helpful math tutor and solve this, but not just simply answering and explaining as you need. Here is a schema that I specify on the response format. And you want to make sure that you have some steps included in that schema. 
and that step is an array that includes stuff explanation output explanation output and then lastly i have another piece in that json schema called final answer which is a string and if i click on answer as you can see the answer is not just a simple text it's a schema for based output that has the steps i specify with the final answer now let's go through some actual codes in python so i'm going to show you that how you can utilize this in action all right here is a google collab notebook and you don't need to just use google collab any python environment that you have here is just a simple test and I ran this, so I removed that my OpenAI key for recording the video. And you just simply need to have your OpenAI upgraded with a pip install. And afterwards, here's the first way that you can have a structured output based on uh, the SAMP response format you specify in a class format using base model by Pydantic. That's another way also you can. So I am specifying that I need to grab this amount of information, some of them are strings, some of them are lists, from a given context. And the context is about extracting some details from a given conference. So I have this specified here, and I include that in my response format, which is the new uh, parameter for this API call. And afterwards, here's the answer. As you can see, the title, which I defined here on the top, start date, attendees, which is a list, a list of a string, a location, agenda, and all the information specified on the top has been captured in a format that I specify without, without me prompting it. I just tell that extract the conference details, that's it. Now you can have it a little bit more complex with chain of thought responses. For example, the same thing here, I am saying that your wise interdimensional guide help the user solve the puzzle step by step. Here's a puzzle that I'm asking, but I, I want to have the response format in this format, which is the step. And if you can see, the step has a list of steps coming from this. So the first step by itself is a list that includes explanation output inside a list format. Then the final answer, then artifacts used, dimensional coordinates, and the time taken. I ran this with the format that I specified on the top here. And I got the answer. I need to show you the answer better. I asked GPT to actually um format this for a better display because it's a bit hard to go through the text and here's the answer and here it is so i have interdimensional puzzle solution you can see in my step that i specified here i have explanation output explanation output the final answer artifact use specified here dimensional coordinates time taken two minutes that we specified here which i just copied that from here perfect all right, here's another one, the one that you can directly have in the response format with the JSON schema that you provide. Here again, I'm asking the same thing. You are a mentor for math, and you have to provide a step-by-step -step, uh, process of understanding to resolve this puzzle, which is based on a math equation. But in order to get the answer, I want to specify the response in this JSON schema format. And I'm going to make sure I will strict to this, so strict equal to true is enabled. So I got the response back and I just simply went through an online JSON viewer and I copy and paste the answer here to show you if that response is really JSON and it's based on what we specified. And as you can see, it is because I have my steps, which has explanation, output, explanation, output, until all the way we have the final answer here. This is exactly how I specify with the final and the steps that I have, which is an array. That's why it got repeated with explanation, output, explanation, output. All right, so that was just a very quick overview to just get to know what is the change came in. I think it's extremely helpful, specifically this schema directly with a strict equal to true inside response format when you call OpenAI. So you can directly get your structured answers back from OpenAI and think about it, how you can certainly make ease for the rest of your development when you want to have the answer of these models to call something to to execute a function to or execute an agent whatever change you need to do having the answer in a json format that you provide is much 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 better and easier than just dealing with the unstructured text chat output which is sometimes very hard to clean and parse all right i hope you found this video helpful and if yes i would be very thankful if you click on like icon thanks